right, what's good, what's good, man? Let's get into it. Let's talk some NBA, man. The NFL season's winding down, especially with the NBA tread day, deadline coming up. You're most likely going to, unless some big NFL news happens, you're going to most likely get some NBA content Tuesday and Thursday until NBA really kicks off. But let's talk some basketball, and let's talk about the face of the league. Let's talk about everybody's favorite player to hate or everybody's favorite player to love, one Mr. LeBron James. Now, for anybody who has been living under a rock, even if football season is going on, you should know the Lakers are in a slump, and they've been in a slump ever since they won the in-season tournament. Now, I have a theory to this. And, you know, it might be a theory out there. It might be a theory, you know, uh, conspiracy theory. You know, it is what it is. Is LeBron James burnt out of the Lakers? Like, is LeBron James done with the Lakers? Is he just here until his son comes into the league, which, you know, won't be for a long time because I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't think Bronny's coming out this year. I'm sorry. If Bronny comes out this year, I might have to be a little bit critical of LeBron because there's no – Bronny's averaging, what, five points in college? Dude's barely playing in college. He needs to stay for another year and play against the big boys. But in college basketball is about to start ending soon because March, you know, but it is – but, you know, that's a different topic for another day. But – is LeBron James burnt out of the Lakers? Is he done with the Lakers? Because I'm going to keep it real. Look, it's the year. LeBron joined the Lakers in 2018, the end of 2018, the 2018 to 2019 season. I think this is the longest team LeBron James has been with, besides maybe the Cavs the first year, because he was drafted in 04, left in 2010. So that's, what, six years? He was with the Cavs five to six years, five to six seasons. Uh, he was with the Miami Heat for four. He was, went back to the Cavs for four. And then from 2018 to 2024, so what is that? Was that six years, five, six uh, seasons? So around the same time with the Cavs? What if LeBron is just burnt out of the Lakers? Maybe that's why the Lakers suck. Because I don't understand how you can go from an in-season, from winning the in-season tournament, whether people think it's corny or not, they won the in-season, in-season tournament, to losing to the Nets last week, 125 to 105, last time I checked the score. And I get where LeBron is coming from because, I mean, Anthony Davis, like, is Anthony Davis. He could be the best center in the league one game and be the worst center in the league the next game. You got – and with all these trade rumors that are not going through, I just found out or I just – I heard uh, a few days ago the Lakers won't be trading for Zach Levine, which sucks because, I mean, Zach Levine is an upgrade over De- DeRozan. And honestly, Zach Levine is low-key an upgrade over uh, – uh, what's his name? Uh, Austin Reeves, even though Austin Reeves is a better shooter, he is an upgrade over Austin Reeves. He's better than Austin Reeves. And there's a lot of rumors that they might trade for uh, DeJounte Murray. I don't know how true that is. I mean, that would be a big upgrade, but I mean, I don't know if they will trade for DeJounte Murray. Are you going to trade? You're going to trade all your first round picks for this decade? They only have one first round pick this decade, and that's in 2029. That's five years from now. And clearly, LeBron's going to be gone. He's going to be retired by that point. Anthony Davis, he might be gone because his body can't hold up, or he might be at least be on a different team. And obviously, you're not going to keep D'Lo or Austin Reeves or any of those. So are you really going to give your – yeah, you're going to be trash. So you're going to be trash for the next, what, until 2030? I don't know if they do make that trade. And plus, why would the Hawks want D'Lo? D'Lo doesn't work. Obviously, Laker fans, you should know D'Lo don't work. It didn't work the first time. It ain't work now. I mean, yeah, y'all went to the Western Conference Finals last year with them, but no, nah, that's not it. But what if LeBron is just tired out of the Lakers? And maybe why that's why they suck. Maybe he's just emotionally checked out because anytime you listen to LeBron, I mean, yeah, he talks about, yeah, we want to win. It sucks that we lost. But he's also talking about his son. He wants to go watch his son play this time, which I get. LeBron's a proud father. But at the same time, LeBron, you still got to focus on winning the game. I mean, the Lakers, I think they're below 500. The Lakers were like the top seed at one point, and now they're below 500. And I I get, you know, it's January. And I get, you know, the trade deadline is within a couple of weeks, so the Lakers could make some moves. But what are the Lakers going to do? And also, another thing, LeBron and DeMar Hamlin, uh, not DeMar Hamlin, DeVar, 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 whatever his name is, DeVar Ham, DeVar Ham. I don't know why I said DeMar Hamlin. I I I got done watching the Bills yesterday. But. DeVar Ham don't like each other. You can tell on the sidelines they don't like each other. And LeBron has a tendency, besides maybe 
Mm, no, honestly, LeBron's never – I mean, LeBron's always had some issues with his coaches here and there. I know him and Ty Lue are cool. I know him and Eric Spolster are cool, whatever. But even like then, they had tension between them. Him and uh, DeVar Ham, I wouldn't say they don't like each other, but there's clearly tension there. And maybe LeBron is just tired of the Lakers. Maybe that's the reason why they suck, because I don't understand it. I mean, the West, besides the Nuggets, the West is wide open when you think about it. Besides the Nuggets, the defending champions, the West is w- wide open. And if the Lakers can make some moves, maybe get a DeJounte Murray to equal out to Jamal Murray, Zach Levine to uh, equal out to Jamal Murray, if Anthony Davis can do Anthony Davis stuff, they could win the West. The Warriors, who I'm going to be doing a video on, I might do a video on them on Thursday, depending on how this week goes. The Warriors, you know, they're – I don't know what's going on with the Warriors. Uh, the Mavs are up and down. The, the – the Timberwolves are okay. And, and is amazing. And is amazing. And video. I'm going to be giving Ant a credit, especially when the football season ends. Ant is amazing. But they're still unexperienced. And Cat Cat and Rudy Gobert, they're still soft. Let's be for real. Well, the Lakers can beat them. Who else is in the West? Uh, the Suns, soft. Everybody knows that. Clippers are going to clip. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we know James Harden, PG. We all know what they're going to do in the playoffs. It is what it is there. <laughs> I don't even know who else is in the West that I can really think of. I mean, that's a competition. Yeah, I really can't think of anybody in the West that I can, like, see, like, you know, besides the Nuggets. The Nuggets are the only team in the West, like, okay, they're going to the finals. Other than that, the Lakers can make some big moves to make some big splashes, but it seems like LeBron is just not into it. Him and DeMar, uh, DeVar Ham were literally arguing about, you know, arguing during the Nets game about what, what timeout they want to take or he wants to take LeBron out, whatever the case may be. What if LeBron is just burnt out of the Lakers? LeBron has a tendency of leaving team to team. Like, LeBron doesn't really stay with a team for that long. I think the long, the longest team, the longest time he stayed with a team was, what, four years? And that was with the Heat in the second stem with the Cavs. He was with the Cavs from 04 to 2010 or 09, so that's like, what, five, six years? I think this is the longest stint that LeBron's been with the team. Maybe he's just burnt out. Maybe he's, you know, ready for his son to come into the league and, you know, is just treading time. Maybe he wants to compete with the title with his son. I don't know. Or maybe he knows the Lakers are just a sinking ship he wants to get off it, which I don't blame LeBron, even though, LeBron, you have something to do with that because you want to trade everybody. But, you know, it is what it is. But I just – no one's talking about the fact that maybe LeBron James is burnt out of this team because, let's be real, LeBron James is the coach. He's the leader of this team. I don't care if DeVar Ham is the – uh Head coach LeBron James coaches this team. LeBron James knows he's a four time champion. He's been around like, come on, bro. LeBron James is old enough to be some of these younger players' grandfather. He knows the game of basketball. He knows what to do and what not to do. But maybe he's just burnt out of being with the Lakers. I don't think he's burnt out of basketball. I think LeBron wants to keep playing until, not even until his son comes. I think he wants to keep playing just to keep playing because he knows once it's over, it's over. Every athlete knows that once it's over and over. And any acts, any competitive athlete, when they retire, that's like the most traumatic thing ever. Because you know, it's like, what else are they gonna do? I mean, I know LeBron has some other interests and stuff like that. You know, I'm not gonna name them here. It is what it is. But at the same time, LeBron James is a basketball player. He wants to play basketball to the day he dies. Same thing with Tom Brady. Tom Brady probably still wishes he could play football. But at the same time, what if LeBron is just burnt out of the Lakers? And that's why they suck. And now with the news that they're not training with Zach Levine, they're most likely not going to get DeJounte Murray. They're just going to run it back with the same team with D'Lo and uh, Austin Reeves and AD's inconsistent self. What if it's just time for LeBron to leave L.A.? Which he will do when Bronny comes out. But we don't know when Bronny's going to come out because I highly doubt he's coming out this year. I highly doubt he's coming out this year. I'll be shocked if he does. But, man, that's my thoughts, man. What are yours? What's your thoughts on this? Uh, I mean, I know football season's on full effect, but, you know, after this Sunday, it's going to be two weeks of basketball because, I mean, there's not – I mean, two weeks of, you know, the basketball because, I mean, let's be for real. No one cares about the Pro Bowl. And that week between, you know, football, that week between the uh, AFC Championship game and uh, – the Super Bowl, that's all basketball. That's when the basketball trade deadline ends. That's when all these huge trades happen. So you're going to be getting a lot of basketball content very soon. And with after the Super Bowl, you're definitely going to be getting a lot of 
draft content, NFL draft content, and basketball content. But yeah, do you think LeBron James is burnt out of the Lakers? And what do you think the Lakers should do? What do who do you think they should trade for? And do you think LeBron should leave after this year? That's my thoughts, man. What are yours? RJ out. Thank you.